Hello, everyone. We'll continue the uh, topic of robot two frame. Uh, in the previous video, we talked about what is two frame and why do we need two frame, right? So just a quick review. Basically, because we have to attach different tooling on the robot, right? So then we have to change the default two frame original point to the real position point on here. All right, so you may wonder, okay, um, why don't we just measure that, right? Measure the, 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 the dense of this part and then we done, right? So yes, you're right. Yeah, but for some of the tooling, uh, is especially with the tooling uh, street and the symmetric, you can do that. And, uh, but there are some tooling, for example, this tooling, right? You saw that this tooling is not straight from the default point straight stick out. It's somewhere in the angle, right? Like this. So you will see all kinds of different uh, shape of tooling, right? So you have to accommodate the uh, the, the properties on the on the particular tooling. So to meet those requirements, you would need to have different methods. So that's why uh, we are in the lab, we are practicing with the uh, a particular method, uh, especially with this video I'm going to talk about called three-point method. And also remember that uh, Fanuc robot can have up to 10 different two frames, right? So you have to specify which two frame you are doing, you, you are setting up, right? That's a common mistake. If you set up a wrong two frame, then you will have to change that, right? So that's just a reminder for you. So regarding on the three point method, uh, other methods we'll uh, talk about on different video. Also there are uh, menus you can read from. All right. Three point method, that means you have to teach robot to record, to remember to three different points. They call approach points, all right? So the key is that if you remember that, if you have a fixed point as a reference, for example, here at the tip of this pointer, then you move your robot and record this position as one of the approach. Then you drop your robot to approach the same point, same point, all right? I didn't emphasize here, but you need to remember same point on different angle. Then you drop your robot on different angle to approach the same point the third time. So you record three times. Then the robot controller, the software will do all the rest, right? Do the calculation, uh, the, the mass related to the mathematical, uh, the, a symmetric calculation and uh, geometric, right? So which is not our concern. We, we, we are just a user. We don't have to know the theory behind it, right? So our job is to teach the robot for the three point, All right? So you can highlight, you can see here right now, you can highlight position one, two, three, record them. Then there's some move to function key available for you to move to different point to check. And then if you're happy, you need to press the function key of recording to that robot controller to accept the position. Then the sequence over here, the which one you record as number one, which one number two, and which one number three, doesn't matter. And the, the left and right, uh, I just mentioned that, I forgot to emphasize, uh, the three point need to have 90 degree to each other, right? So that's, uh, that's the requirement. If you have a 90 degree, the calculation will get, get you a more accurate result, right? So, but the sequence and the right and left angle uh, doesn't matter. You can record in any sequence, any order. Right? The other thing you need to know is that uh, uh, these three points are required, right? And once it's recorded, it will be updated and uh, calculated. And if you are not happy with that, you have to fix it. But there's no direct relation between the X, Y, Z, W, P, R and any specific point. So what I mean is that if you uh, y didn't get uh, the value of y is um, 
obviously wrong. It's a, it's a, it's a mistake. Then you have to check all the three points. There's no point. There's no way you can. Okay, maybe I fix the number two. Will will uh, adjust the Y reading. It's not that that, right? Or if I uh, fix number three, it will help me with the Z reading. It's not that that. You have to check all the three points, right? They get the result collectively. So that means the all the three points they have to be accurate. Right, so I can show you on the next slide to you uh, to show you what do I mean by that. In the, in the lab, we'll just use the one I just showed you from the previous uh, slide, the top of the cylinder. Use that as the reference point. Any point can be referenced, right? So it's just a fixed point. So uh, the approach number one will just record robot from the top to bottom to accept to approach that. So this is the top view. If you look at from the top to bottom, that's what you see on the on top of the robot. And then this is the uh, the front view. Right? So this is, you look at, you can see here, right? That's the front. You look at this angle, right? So that's the fixture on this, right? So on the front view, I don't know if you notice, right? The front edge of your gripper has to be match up with the top surface. You don't want to go too deep. You don't want to go too shallow. It's just right on the edge on here. And also the center point of your center line of your gripper supposed to meet with the center line of the cylinder, right? So this is the front view and this is the side view. Look at on the side, again, the edge match up with the top surface and the, uh, the width or the, the, the depth of the gripper has to be in the middle of your cylinder. All right, so this is again, number one. Then let's look at the other two. The other two will get the same point. You can see here, we'll just use the center point on the top surface on the cylinder as the reference. But we approach this point from the back to front instead of the first one from the top to bottom. Then if you look at the top view, right? top view very clear, right? Center of the cylinder, this is the center of the cylinder, ex exactly the center of your gripper. So this is what I just called center to center. They have to merge together, right? So this is top view. Then if you look at the front view, same thing here center to center, right? The surface and center to center. This is the side. If you look at the side, top surface and front edge, you don't want to move this to, to front to, to, uh, or to, to back uh, uh, the other direction, right? It has to be exact center to center. This is approach number two. And if you look at number three, so don't worry, I will show you uh, in the software, you will get a chance to look at that again. So this time, number three, approach from the side. And this is top view, center to center. And front view, center to center. Side view, center to center. All right, just remember center to center. The center of the top surface on the cylinder merge with the center of your gripper. So this is what you need to do with the teaching. Then the robot controller will do the rest of the calculation. So that's uh, going to the handling pro. So uh, if you remember, right? So now it's just, this is the, we can use this as the first point. I, I just need to make sure it's right there. Shift move to. So this is the position uh, I want to use as the first approach point. So. The procedure to get uh, that part, yeah, you can get from your menu, uh, get from your lab, all right? You need to click, let me reset that, click menu and set up number six, and then you go into the two frame. So you can see there are all kinds of uh, 10 of them, right? We want to set up number two. So, 
highlight number two, cursor is on number two, right? Which is gripper, click the F2 detail. So that shows you the result, current result, all zero, right? It's, uh, it's not being set up. Then if you click F2, which is the method, right? Cor correspond to method, you have different way to set up. So we, in the lab, we first practice the three point method, which is number one, we'll press enter. Once you set up the three point method, that is what you need to check, right? You are doing the two frame number two, and you are doing the method of three point. And this is the three point you need to record. Currently, they are showing uninitialized. So that's why all the readings here, the result are zero. They will change once you record all these three positions, right? This is what you were supposed to start with, right? Then let's uh, highlight the approach one. So we highlight approach one. This is the approach point we are happy with, right? So you can see here. So if I rotate around, you can see here it's pretty square, right? Center to center. Remember what I said? So you can even see the gap, the blue gap on each side of the cylinder, they are almost the same, right? So then we are happy shift record F5. So this one is being recorded. All right. Number two, we're going to jog to different angle, right? It's going to take me a while to jog there. So that's why I cheated. <laughs> I recorded in my position register. Right? The one I record is called cylinder gripper back. Yes, I'm going to move to there. Shift, move to. So that's going to quickly bring us to that position I want. So you can see that's the approach point from the back. If I rotate around, you can see here, right? instead of from the top to bottom, right, the gripper approach the same center point from the back, right? Not it's halfway on here. Right? I want you to pay attention on the center to center. So now we're going to back to the menu side up. So it's there. It, it, we left before there, right? So now it's the approach number two, shift record. We have two position recorded. Notice those numbers haven't changed, right? They are all zeros, right? They will change once we record on the number three. So number three, we want to approach the same point. We have record from top to bottom. Now we have the from back to the front. And last one, from the side, they are in 90 degree to each other, right? From the side to the same point. And again, I'm going to move to the position I recorded before, which from the data and number eight, cylinder gripper side. That's the one I already recorded before this video, All right? So shift, move to, so you can see here, so that's the position I recorded before. You can see again, center to center from the top, from the top, from and the side view, right? Center to center. You have to make sure this in your lab. So once you are happy with that, we go back to menu, set up. All right. So third point, you need to record, shift record. Once you record, look at those X, Y, Z numbers. They'll be calculated. So you can see here, 0, 0, 280. So that means this gripper, the dense of this gripper is 280 millimeter, right? So that is basically the offset. Remember that uh, if you uh, explain two frame, uh, plainly, it's just a offset, right? Offset from the default, move to the Z direction, right? X, Y, Z, right? Z direction, 280, right? So that's what you need to, to set up with the three-point method. And remember that uh, uh, once you set up, the, T the robot supposed to know where's the TCP, right? How do we test? We can jog in world and rotate. Right, so that's what I'm going to 
to rotate. So world 100 too fast, we gotta move, slow down to 25, 20% is okay. Now I need rotate around, uh, let me rotate around Y or maybe rotate Z first, right? Uh, doesn't matter actually. Let's rotate around Z, right? So you can see here, rotate around Z, what's that, right? So you can go the other direction. So it didn't move away, right? And then let's rotate around Y. You can see here, robot now knows that's, that's my TCP. It doesn't move away, it stays there, right? So that means, TCP being set up correctly, right? So this is the uh, the 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 end of the lab. All right. So uh, I'll talk about more uh, about the two frame uh, on the on different videos. All right. For this one, I'll just stop here.